Right, welcome, welcome, welcome again. Y'all know the voice. Y'all know the sound. James Gilbert oh, Williams, DJ call Exclusive, call is call in call the call building. Call hey, here I go. Here I am. I'm Me and all my 45 glory. Y'all stay tuned. Like it or not, it's about to go down. Good morning, y'all. All right, y'all, let's see here. Let me get myself together. Y'all know last week was my 45th birthday. I turned 45. Yay! My lips feel so ashy right now. It's giving crusty Miami lips. Ugh, and I hate it. Anywho, last week, 45th birthday, man. Had a chance to go to Disney World. I loved it so much. So, so much. It was so fun. So before I drop this next song, just want to say thank y'all to everybody who showed me love for my birthday and everything. It was greatly appreciated. Shout out to the crew that went to Disney with me, man. I greatly appreciate y'all. Uh, shout out to Q for everything that he did, getting us in the park and all that good stuff. Love you, man. And uh, we had a great damn time, bro. It was just like amazing. I loved it. They weren't ready for all that walking, but it was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it myself. So shout out again for everybody that showed me love on the birthday, man. So uh, yeah, I love y'all. I appreciate it. Um, it's been a while since we did one of these. So Brian West, of course, this is for you. Teslas do not have new car smell. Teslas do not have new car smell. They have an Elon Musk. <laughs> like it or not it's about to go down let me see if we ready to start this dang go show man um yeah yeah let's go ahead and start the show look like everybody's in the building today so i won't bore y'all with none of this old copyright music and we'll send y'all the good stuff like it's time for like it or not <laughs> like it or not y'all it's about to go down good morning everybody Rebecca Azor is in the house You know she got a funny story to tell Talking politics, culture, a real life-ish uh, I live in life in the ATL Benjamin, yeah, that's my man He's always coming up with the master plan Politics scheming, they're trying to find the meaning of life And why the feds keeps us in strife I'm your DJ I really don't need no introduction right now But you know what? I stay dropping them jams Y'all know who I am Good hope, dad jokes, culture is politics. What you're hearing right now was the culmination of all of this. I started out with a mic in my hand, and I graduated to a plethora of fans. I love bringing joy to the people. It makes me feel great, makes me feel regal. I do what I do for you. 8 p.m. Friday, you know how we do. Let's go. It's time for like it or not. We're the back of us. Let's start this damn show. Like it or not, y'all. 2023. Let's start this damn 
so let's go. Like it or not, starts now. I can't stand you, man. Hey, give me my ornament. <laughs> give me my ornament. The ornament say 2020 on it, don't it? 2020 or 2021. Oh, Jesus. Give this me my ornament. <laughs> I got you, Becca. I got to go to the post. I'm going to send it. I'm going to put it in the mail. Cause child, you stay in Africa, and I don't. It's, it's like I gotta get a passport. Just I stay that. where people's <laughs> cars don't get like broken into. So I do too. What the hell? Oh, you stay on that? Yeah, you stay. You do. You do. Cause <laughs> I'm, and when I and, and when I'm with y'all, I'm talking about Atlanta, Atlanta. I'm talking about Atlanta, like, Atlanta. Fuck <laughs> because that's Atlanta. <laughs> I'm talking about like. Um, Midtown because that's Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Atlanta. like mm -hmm. those areas because no, no, I don't. I don't uh, at that. this at this point, it's getting close to east uh, to the point too. So I don't know. I see, leave leave the black, the real black Atlanta, which is your side, alone, <laughs> and leave everybody else on the outskirts alone. Okay, I I was mm -hmm. talking to somebody. First of all, I apologize. I was so rude, Bubba. Tell the people oh. who want it. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, and welcome to Like It or Not, where we're free to tell the truth. And not care who doesn't like it. All right, you're here <laughs> with your host, of course, <laughs> that always does the most, uh, Rebecca Azor. And of course, I got the best DJ in the land, that is <laughs> Bubba. <laughs> Bubba, I didn't get an opportunity to tell you verbally. I know I texted to you, um, uh -huh. but happy birthday. Happy birthday. I don't even know that's how it go for real, because I don't know. Okay, but forgot that it. was a little remix <laughs> to you. Uh, 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 I said H A double P Y. It's my boy's birthday, and you already know why. Happy birthday to Bubba, 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 Bubba. Every, every, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, it's your birthday. I said, get it, get it, get it, get <laughs> the fact that y'all just let me go on with that the fact that you just let me just go on with that this, that's the type of friends you need in your life okay, okay. Well, I ain't gonna stop you <laughs> but happy happy birthday you said you turned 45 years old that's 12 years older 45. than me yeah <laughs> well thank you look one and of you my uh, you can't leave me here Right. One of my other friends put it to me like this. She was like, Bubba, yeah, you oh, you done moved to another uh age bracket. I'm like, what you talking about? You remember the little thing that say uh 30 to 44, you done moved up to 45 and up. I'm like, <sighs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> that, that, that's crazy. Cause even me rolling down the Rolodex, or is that what it is? Whatever that thing is. But when I click it to put in my year, I'm like, why uh, am I still why am I still rolling? Kids uh -huh. born in two thousand Kids born in the year 2000 are 23 years old. 23 years old, girl. Right. Okay. I have a friend who I went to high school with who has a child that just graduated college. What is life? What is life? Damn. I'm just like, all my people now, it's like, y'all have grown kids that are in college. I'm just like, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. No, it's crazy. Because I my... So I have my best friend. I was telling her we're gonna be, we're gonna be moms, and I'm a kid is gonna be talking to me like while I'm out somewhere because I was most of my life, um, most of my adult, adult life until now, um, I've been you know independent, single, and there's gonna be a kid somewhere in like ten years being like, mom, mommy, mom, and I'm like, whose kid is that? And I look over and be like, oh, that's mine. Come on, <laughs> come on, kid, come on, kid. Um, but anywho. My brother is FaceTiming me knowing I'm on the show. But other than that, <laughs> you know, whatever age, you know, we become parents or whatever. I know you've gone through a lot of life experiences. And I know at 45, mm. you can say you've lived so many different lives and you've gotten opportunities and chances to pivot in your life. Um, yeah. A lot of things that you probably thought would be your life in 10 years, you probably experienced and you're like, yeah, I don't want to do that anymore. Or yeah, that's uh -huh. not me anymore. And it's so funny because I was um, looking back at my life and I remember times where I 
like for me moving to Atlanta, I did not I feel like I was fitting in at all. So I moved I went back to New York. Like I was like, no, I'm not. And I'm not from New York, y'all. I'm a Florida girl, okay? Florida hates you. Mm-hmm. But I had moved to New York after I graduated from undergrad. I was like, dang, you know. I came here because my sister was here. And I'm like, okay, you know, maybe me moving to the South, but not back in Florida, you know, Georgia would be it. I came here and I said, I do not fit in. I just don't fit in here. Um, mm-hmm. I felt like it was just, I don't know. It was just, I, I couldn't fit in. I liked the freedom of being in New York, but I liked the, the hospitality of being in the South. Um, right. I didn't like that everybody looked the same here and at that time bbls weren't even that big you had to be rich to have a bbl but right. there was, I just, but you couldn't like be free i feel like you just you had to if you were black you had to be black and elite and i was not black and elite yet i'll yeah. be honest uh-huh. with you i just was not um i was just a free butterfly and i didn't like that they were trying to box me in at the time and i that's how i felt i said i ain't got no community here so i went back to new york but i'm like girl i can't y'all just ready to be like yo i'm on the grind Hustle and bustle, five jobs a day. You ain't doing nothing while you sleep. Like, I mean, you got to get up and grind. Did it every day. I got three Yo, jobs. Rebecca. <laughs> yo, mom. Like, yo, yo, mom. Like, really? Like, you got to, like, I'm, I'm trying to tell you, I'm a, I'm, I produce music. And on top of that, I work, you know what I'm saying, at the, uh, the uh, at, at Rockefeller Center. But I do, at the same time, I, and this is before Uber was a thing, um, you know, I, I deliver packages and things like that, but you got to really be on it. If your mindset isn't there, you, and all of that, right? <laughs> and sorry, David, I know that's your, that's your neck of the wood, but it just got crazy and everybody be on, and then people be on the train just bumping into you and you're just sad. Everybody's just sad on the train, but they're not really sad. And then, you know, it's crazy because then I, I used to people watch and just watch everybody just be on the run all day, all the time, not slowing yeah. down. And I'm like, from people who are so old to people who are so young, don't get me wrong, this time of the year, it lights up in New York. It's beautiful. But it was just, I felt like I need, I just am used to, um, but I'm a city girl who had a slower life. Like, you, know, yeah. you were able to drive 15 minutes to your house and, you know, or 20 in Atlanta. You can't do that. And I'm talking about Atlanta, Atlanta, because I don't live in Atlanta, damn it. Um, but, um, you know, you could do. But I just was thinking to myself, I was like, dang, I wrote myself off at one point when I moved to Atlanta. And I said, I would never, when I finally just came and said, I'm going to stay. I was like, I'm never going to fit in here. I'm never. Mm-hmm. And then I met my community of Haitians. At first it was because, you know, when you get here, Africans is the first stop. Welcome, my friend. <laughs> Welcome to Wakanda. Uh, 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 you are beautiful. <laughs> like all of that. Uh, 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 like, mommy. Are you talking about me? And they get you like that. They get you like that. Did God did God send you? Because my God, my God, are you are you so beautiful? But you know me, I'll talk to the French one. So they'll be like, wow, madame, wow, you are so beautiful. Your face is like an angel. And I was like, oh my God. So I was always at the club with the Africans. With the Africans. And and that's just what they got me. But then one day I went somewhere and there were some Haitians. And from then on, I built a community with them. So you have to find your community. I wrote myself off at first. I'm like, I'm never, nothing's ever going to happen for me here. And then I found community within amongst Haitians. And (laughs) that felt like home. And you know them, oh my gosh, girl, where you come from? You're so beautiful. Wow, wow, she's be- oh wow, pourquoi ça belle 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 comme ça? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, they talking about me? That's how they got me. So, so in other words, me. y'all, Rebecca started off like in in the outskirts of Atlanta. Cause see, my community was always in the city. You are, girl, my community been here for ages, girl. <laughs> I know, I know, and that's why I'm like, and it's so funny because and and every time. The gays were always like they would find me first. It would be like the Africans <laughs> and the gays. They found me first when I came here. I would walk in but somewhere and I be got- like, "Girl, yeah," <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, thank you." <laughs> like, "Yo, girl, yes, I love girl." And some of them will make me do things. Spin around for me. I don't even know. Oh, girl. But gas me up, please. <laughs> Spin around for me. I love the way you walk in them shoes, girl. Yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, because. I was going to ask the question, have you ever met some gay Africans before? And if you have... You oh, know. in D.C. 
in DC. In oh, I'm DC, talking about they in Atlanta. Can, no, in now, DC. I haven't met any here, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot. But now, I, the whole time I've been here, I think I just DJ a part a birthday party. Uh, and they, there were some gay Africans there, and it was just like some unicorns. It was a lot of them. I'm just like, mm-hmm. no, I this mean, where y'all be hiding at? Yeah, no, because they, they gotta be here because they're like again. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm not learning. I know I've learned throughout life a lot of things I had to unlearn. Black is not a monolith. And I know that because mm. culturally and even for um, Caribbeans, it's not something that is accepted to, in society um, right. for like Caribbeans and African men to be gay. But now yeah. we're starting to see there are communities that are accepted. And, and here, since there are a lot of Africans, I'm pretty sure they have their areas where they're accepted, even if it's not widely talked about. So I'm glad. Right. Yeah, you, you, you're, it's funny that you say they're unicorns. When I went to D.C., I went out and honey, a group of them came out and they was just like, oh, yeah, they were dancing with me. <laughs> They were getting them, hey, hey, and they, they, you know. I was like, again, the gay popping. They find me everywhere. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it was, it was, um, it was, it was interesting to see. But they came out as a group, and they was fly, honey. They was fly, honey. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Anywho, guys, we're here today. I know that you guys um, are ex- uh, expecting a show, um, but it is the last show of 2023. Uh, and I'm glad that you have been watching us for the last few years here. So you've seen um, and you've grown with us. I wish we had a uh, summarized show, but we didn't. It's been a long week, so we didn't have okay. it on like that. <laughs> um, but we probably will drop something maybe before next week, David. Um, you know, just with some just random, random things, um, some highlights, put it together for you for the end of the year. Uh, because we won't be doing a show until 2024. I would love that. Um that would be cool. Yeah, we David. won't be doing a show. Sorry for putting sorry, sorry, David. Just if you want you to. Weird? If you want to, David, I ain't even putting that on you like that. But if you want to, you know what I mean. But listen. I am so happy to have been with you guys this long. I mean, to we got through the pandemic together, and the pandemic is still pandemicing. But we are trying. We, you know, we got to live like it ain't. That's what they tell us to do. Sure, you know, right. We got to do a mass of sense, huh? But um, you know, we're so happy that you have watched us grow, cry, be on zero, be fighting through things, going to therapy, finding out about therapy, trying to learn each other. You've seen a lot of stages and places in the show, even where the point where I finally got my name on the marquee. Um, <laughs> we've made it. And if you've been riding with us, even to the point where now I'm streaming on Rebecca Azor's channel, okay? Hey. So all of you guys who are watching, make sure if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please head over there to subscribe, okay? Um, we got a lot of big things coming for the show next year um and we have a lot of big things individually that we're working on and we would want you to continue to support today yeah. we're just i i know there might be a lot of things to talk about but i just want to chit chat for a little bit and we're not gonna yeah. we're, we're not gonna be long we're not gonna be before you long but we just want to chit chat a little bit give you podcast style you know uh, uh men with mics and women with mics woms and noms <laughs> Wombs uh, and noms. Wombs and noms. We're gonna give you that vibe on today. So no pressure on our producer. Um, but you know, I just wanted to say thank you guys. Thank you guys for supporting us thus far. Mm-hmm. Um, and your continued support is what matters. So if you're watching right now, Bubba had a birthday. We're going into the new year. <laughs> uh, so many great things happening. So this yeah. is a power hour because it's not going to be an hour because I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Not a long um, time. Amen, but sister. this will be where we are passing around the offering bucket. I wish we had some organs. I wish we had some organs right there, DJ. I wish we had some organs right there, DJ. I wish right. we had... <laughs> But this is time for um, you know, for you to give. If every single one of you who are watching right now is able to give a dollar, become a Patreon um, or whatever, patreon.com forward slash like it or not, patreon.com forward slash like it or not, 50 cents a dollar, whatever you can give right now to help continue with like it or not so that we can yes. be at a level where the algorithm, well, we beat the algorithm, right? If you support us, continue to share, like, subscribe, and your continuous support monetarily definitely helps us to keep this program that we have, that we're running on, 
going because we don't want to just give you two boxes and not give you any visuals. We don't want to. We don't want to get. We don't want to be that type of show. We're not the type of show. Okay, we're above the rest. And for us, buy us type energy. If you support us, we can continue to keep this going. So. Patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Now. Damn, um, I missed it. Because <laughs> I'm like, bring it to, bring, bring to his Chanel up. Huh? Who's Chanel? Chanel. That's what you wrote in the chat? Oh, child. <laughs> channel, girl. Channel. I do what you meant. I do what you meant. But, um. <laughs> I just do the church music. Oh, you know, I was listening to that song the other day, The Church Girl by Beyonce. <laughs> and absolutely, I was like, that's so me. Because I am yeah. literally, I love Jesus really so much. Is. I love it Jesus does, so much. You but all I'm day. I'm also going to throw that ass in the circle. And, yeah. and I'm going to be all right with that. And y'all going to be all right with that. <clears throat> that's all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this little booty I've been working on is um, it's growing. So if you telling me that I can't love Jesus and I can't twerk, I can't do that together. I, I won't believe you because God didn't let me like grow a little booty for nothing. So you're going to be the one that uh, uh, singing and dancing to drop it low for, for Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, but that, yeah, that <laughs> I, I'm going to be that person. But I also be twerking to like, there's a song that was playing and it was a Christian song. And I'm like, not me twerking to the Christian song. But I was like, as long as I'm listening to, 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 to like feeling my soul, that's all right. That's, that's okay. That's okay. So. It ain't nothing wrong with it. You still love the, you love the Lord. Yeah, no, yeah, just like that, David, like Fox is losing their minds over the White House Christmas celebration. I didn't hear about that, but I did see them losing their minds over every little thing. So I couldn't imagine what, what they're what they're what they're being upset over. Um, do you have any clips about that? Because we could definitely drop that. But yeah, not being holy, of course. What they play some Cardi B or something? I don't know. Oh, Car speaking of Cardi B, did you Child. Did you hear? Did you Girl, know? that it's it's been such a mess and I'm feel so bad for her man because then so those of you before we start those of you who don't know what's uh, going on with cardi b and david could you grab a clip of cardi b it's out there it's everywhere i know i everywhere. got you on, on on grabbing clips duty but it's everywhere you right can literally type it in and it'll come up but for those of you who don't know um cardi b who has been married to offset for about six or been with offset for about six years married to him for i guess most of those that time um and we know her her career propelled, you know, after being with um, this man. Not saying that he made her, but her career, you know, she was next to a lot of whatevers. Because um, her her, we know Cardi B from Love and Hip Hop. She was a stripper, yeah, and she was proud. She was all of that, but she wanted to move into music. And you know, she met a guy. I know that she loved him. And or I know, I don't know. I can say that she loved him. I can guess that. But you know, um, just recently, you know, they've been on an off and on and on and off again relationship. Um, we had they had a public separation a few years ago when it came out that he cheated. There was evidence. He even stopped one of her shows and put a whole display together during one of her shows. And she was so embarrassed about that, trying to get him back. Yeah. <laughs> that type of thing um, or trying to get her back he and she even embarrassed him and said no like how could you come to my show and try to like take over men um and you know win the world's view of you for doing this to me but it's not my type of like why would you do that then she ended up taking him back of course that's her child's father that's her husband people work through things right um right. it's a different in, in difference in a marriage and then they had another baby they worked on things she's even publicly said i'm taking my man back i'm fighting for my man in songs they just dropped a song together on on his album which he is promoting right now um she actually just came from doing a twitter um concert not a twitter concert TikTok. excuse me a tiktok concert none mm. of the viewers were there uh mm. and after that she was on people were speculating because they weren't following each other anymore that they broke up yada yada she then posted she then posted a um a video saying that she wanted to change her life. It's been six years. She wanted to move away from what people knew of her and she wanted to become something different, something fresh, she wanted to rebrand. Um, and that, and she didn't necessarily say away from her husband, but she just said, it's not going to be what you guys seen of me. People speculated that she was talking about Offset. Then she recently yesterday put out a video, went live and mm. said, this man has been messing with me. Um, you know, 
you guys, I'm, I don't usually come to the internet about this, but here I am, David, do you have that video? Um, and so here I am and I'm here coming to you guys with this. And then she began to like that voice that women do Eesh. when you are broken, baby, when honey, when you had enough, when you had enough, when that... you, I'm not going to cry. I'm not uh, going to cry. Yes. I'm not Gonna shed no tears. It was that. I don't want to get in. I can't mm-hmm. believe it. I was it. your lover like, and your my secretary. God. Working every day of the week. It was that. It was that <sighs> type of cry. I don't know where David is. I don't know if he stepped away to walk his dog. But <laughs> he was dog I, I don't know. I don't know. David, are you here, baby? David, are you David? <laughs> but I really David, are you okay? But <laughs> David, are you okay? Are you <laughs> okay, <laughs> David? Um. I say this to say, I bring that up to say, celebrities are people too. Yes. They are people too. But <clears throat> dang it. that pain that she's like, it, it's okay for her to be able to break up with her man. People yeah. came online, and of course, you know when I say online, so, um, they went into the shade room comment section. Because the same room comment section, that's a different world. Shade room comment section, everybody was like, and y'all was trying to come. Um, uh, Offset is giving the most unbothered energy we've ever seen. Shade room isn't allowed, is no longer allowed to post Cardi B. They can post nothing about Cardi B. Cardi oh, B, wow. They, yeah. Cardi B said, don't ever post me again. Um, because <clears throat> Cardi and um, the shade room owner that nobody knows is the owner went back and forth on um, TikTok uh, earlier this year or late last year. And she said, don't ever, ever, ever. Thank you. Here we go. Here's the clip, y'all. Talk to a nigga and a motherfucker will play in your fucking face, in your fucking face, over and over, Vera and, over, and, over, and, over and over again. <laughs> and she'll be like, watch. Watch what I'm about to do. Watch what I'm about to say. And it's so fucking sad that a nigga like to... Yo, this motherfucker really likes to play games with me when I'm at my most vulnerable time. When, I, when I'm not the most confident. They like, he likes to play games with me because he knows I'm not an easy girl. He, he knows yesterday I could have been out. I could have been chilling. I could have been this and that. He knows I'm in my house. He knows that I'm chilling. He knows I'm not doing the most. And I've really been sparing you. I've really been sparing you. You've been fucking feeling yourself, you bitch ass nigga, because of your bitch ass <laughs> album and shit. And you've really been fucking doing me dirty after so many fucking years that right I'm there. motherfucking up your ass. Right there. None that of your voice. fucking things oh. that I got for your bitch ass. That voice. And it's so crazy that I gotta oh. go. To the fucking internet, because whenever I fuck, I tell you something, you don't take shit seriously. And I was. Mm. Now, uh, it's it's the cry. Listen, that's that. I told you I was your lover and your secretary, working every day of the week. Yeah, that, that, that was. I'm tired. <sighs> I'm sick, and I am tired of you running around. Hey. And let me tell you something. When Jasmine Sullivan said, because y'all know, when Jasmine said, and watch my mouth on this one, you know, I know I don't Mm. really curse much, but when Jasmine Sullivan said, sometimes I feel like fuck you and the horse you rode in on, yeah. Mm. Gotta be a pill you rode in on to think so highly of your bullshit. Think that everybody around you is stupid. You must be at your rabbit ass mind. Yeah. You ain't all that fine and you ain't always right. Some might fall for the lies, but not I. I, I, I. She said, you want me to change. You want me to risk everything. But don't want to make no sacrifices. Don't want to make no sacrifices. No. You want me to change. You want me to take all of the blame but don't want to make no sacrifices don't want to make no sacrifices she said selfish love that's what she said okay selfish people be out here selfish and i'm not saying that's what happened in the situation people are tired okay and it's sad that she had to run to social media while these men get to walk around here and act like they unbothered she said, I, he knows the type of woman I am. I could have been out, but I'm here. I know what that means. A lot of these guys know you're beautiful. You, people are like, she's Cardi B. She can't get cheated on. She's Beyonce. She can't get cheated on. She's such and such. She can't get cheated on. Listen, every, everybody's cheating on everybody, right? 
And I hate that for our culture. I hate that for our society. I hate that for our generation, that cheating and treating women a certain kind of way and women and men have to take on so much scars, battle scars to be like, she a real rider, man. She done took a lot for, she done took a lot for a man. She done did all that. So I definitely got to put a ring on it. I did. She, 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 she held me down when I was loving other women. When I was sharing my stuff with other women. And some men are like, she know where home is. You don't have to listen. If you don't want somebody, leave that person alone. Mm, leave them be. Don't drag them through nothing. Naturally, when we love somebody, we love somebody. Do not push the person to the edge. Do not have them out here looking crazy, embarrassed, doing things that are out of their norm. She's a mother. Yeah, she could have went outside and cheated on you. She said, he knows the kind of woman I am. I ain't that type of woman no more. I'm a mom. I, I am a wife. I got to act like it. I have a career. I'm no longer trying to be outside in that type of way. Mm -hmm. I got to carry myself. I have a brand. And here you are. You're able to go outside. And, and I will say there is a, um, what's that word? It's a difference when it comes to men and women. Mm, of course. It's always going to be that because he gets to go out and promote his album. And she said that he's feeling himself because of this album. He gets to go out and do all of that and act unbothered. And everybody's like, dang, this is a real definition of unbothered in the shade room chat section. But for, for her, it's like, why is she doing all that yelling? Why is she right. doing all that? When, when a man gets online and calls the woman all bees and, 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 and hoes and all of this stuff, it's like, it's not really, you know, it ain't that, it's just a man being a man. But when a woman gets on there and be like that, she's doing too much. Yeah. She's doing too much. And so I don't know. I don't know the situation about it, but it, it just, it brought me to a place where I know that voice. Yeah. Most I definitely. know that voice and I hate that voice can bring you out of your character. That voice will have you putting hands on people. Yep. And so and and I and know so a lot of people in the chat talking about we don't uh talk about a lot of celebrity stuff, but it seems like with this one, everybody is the same way. Cause I know I don't talk talk about a lot of celebrity stuff. Most times you don't really care. You're like, okay, whatever. But when I saw that video. A Cardi and she broke down like that. I'm like, bro, I felt all of that. Mm -hmm. And not only that, when I don't know if you saw, I caught the end of this when I was at work, the end of Megan the Stallion's mm -hmm. live, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where she was talking about parties. Like she had been quiet for so long, but it looked like she had enough, man. Mm -hmm. And she went online and she said, Look, I didn't even say this mother sucker's name, mm -hmm. but you all of a sudden just dropped the song about me. And I didn't even say your name. Hit dog will holler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, mm -hmm. why does why does her exes get opportunities to get online and say everything they gotta See? say? And right. then when Meg the Stallion, because now we're talking about Meg the Stallion, and when Meg the Stallion comes on and just says her story and utilizes her platform the way everybody else is using it, they're saying, mm -hmm. Girl, just be quiet. Like, stop, right. stop. And 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 mind you, I'm not the I'm Ooh, I be wanting to get online and blast people, but that's not my, yes. character. <laughs> right. that's not my character. I'm not even one to do the to do the posting in the stories thing where you think he's gonna <laughs> see it. I'm not even that type of person either. But I say let people use their platforms the way they want to use it. But at the same time, she is she she made a song and she said, okay, if y'all if I can't say anything, I'm gonna put put it in a song. She puts it in a the song. They're like, shut up. She puts it in a song. Her ex immediately goes and and, and writes a song and name drops. Yeah says her name yeah and it, let's go through this mm. meg the stallion says she got shot in the foot everybody said it didn't happen to her cassie said she um was assaulted by diddy everybody said she wanted to check this is okay um cardi b is crying and they say that she's 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 um she's crying too much online uh um, hmm. Offset made her. Kiki Palmer goes through something online hmm. and they see her back, you know, like ba with her baby daddy. Again, that's her child's father. We don't know. Like she's still probably trying to still have the child be with the father, but there's like, you know, make sure that it is probably guided or whatever. But because she did that, we can't believe what she says. 
But all these noms and woms get on here and be like, you know, we don't really know because with Kiki Palmer and him, it could have been like abuse on both sides. Nobody really talks mm -hmm. about that. Oh, with Meg the Stallion, why did she go back to him and try to defend him with that whole situation? Cassie, why did she wait over 10 years to say something? Like, why would she do that? Uh, you know, uh, uh, um, Cardi B knows what type of, I mean, she's a, she's a BBL girl. She's a stripper girl. Like she knew what type of man she was getting. Like she don't like all of that, all of that. So with that being said, y'all don't ever want to believe women. Y'all don't ever want to believe it. it's always mm. going to be on. I wouldn't be surprised if Diddy in two years is back at the top of doing whatever. I wouldn't be surprised. Meg the stallion as far as in our in, in black culture that we can see i ain't talking about on TikTok or whatever has been written off y'all don't remember just about three years ago we were all a savage classic movie hmm. and ratchet right y'all don't remember we were trying to be becky with the good knees bubba with the good knees y'all don't remember we were all trying to be with the good knees right Y'all don't remember the impact she had on culture so so quick and immediately after the tory lane situation we're like picking and choosing when we want to speak about her. Mm -hmm. When her music drops, it's like, yeah, that's me. Cardi B speaks up about her situation and, you know, chooses her man again. And everybody's like, every time she drops music, they're like, Cardi, like, we don't want Cardi B's music. Right? Is that what we're doing? We're writing off people who speak up. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, Relationship shouldn't be this hard. I hate I hate seeing celebrities go through this. Um, right. But child, we going through it here in the regular world. Mm -hmm. We going through it. It be beating that, bad people. Listen, I hate to see my good sis and my good brothers cry mm -hmm. over men and women who look like they had to struggle their way and make some kind of some kind of ultimatum with Jesus to get on earth. Hmm. Okay. I hate if you had to struggle with God to try to get on earth, you had to fight your way onto the earth. And you got my good sis over here crying over what hmm. you look like. You killing, you killing roaches in the house with your big toe. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and, and you with got me tears. No, you're treating me disrespectfully. And because I come to you like that, as a, as a woman, you're getting, you're treating a man disrespectfully. You're gaslighting him. Everything that he does and everything that he says, you're saying it's a problem. And you're not, mm -hmm. and, a, and as a man, you're continuously doing the same thing. There's no consistency. And you're mad because it's being presented to, to you. And now you're, you're presenting it to her as she's nagging. It's just too much. You guys, let's do better. Hey, 2024, let's do better. Let's do better. If you do not want to be with that person, let them go. Do not mm. drag them. If you know you cannot be consistent, let them go. Stop pulling up every two to three months, every two to three weeks, especially if you know that person really loves you and probably doesn't have the ability or can't see themselves without you. You yeah. know that and stop playing on that for them. Let them go. And if you know that's hard for you, free yourself. You let it go. Imagine the tears that you cry every day with this person. Mm. Do you want to cry with this person in your life? Or would you rather cry alone where eventually you'll get over it? One day you'll wake up and there is no more tears. Mm. But if you're with that person that's continuously hurting you, you will continuously cry. Listen, do you want to be alone when you're with the person? Or do you want to be feel alone when you're actually alone? Choose your heart. Cheers to that. You said that. All right, damn. Because <laughs> I'm sick and tired of myself. You know, I, I'm, I'm telling you, like, it's like, don't think that you are worthy of that. Mm -hmm. And if you're the person in the wrong, make it right by letting that person go. Let them go. Do not be selfish because you don't want to see them with anybody else. And you right. still want to go out and do your, what you want to do. If the way that you want to be in a relationship is hurting that person, Get out of it and go find somebody who's okay with the way that you want to date. And stop the gaslighting. Stop it. 
Stop the gaslighting. Stop gaslighting somebody thinking that they're doing wrong while your ass is the wrong one. Let them go, man. Mm-hmm. Don't hold them. Don't hold It's like you're holding them hostage and manipulating them. Don't, don't do that. Mm-hmm. 2024, let them go. Let please. them go. Free them. And if you if they mm-hmm. if you know they won't free if if you can't free them or whatever if you know that about yourself and your situation you need to free yourself. I know it may be hard. Trust me, I've been through it. Yeah, I've been through it. In some situations, in some relationships, let me tell you something. You're meant to go through them, right? You might learn more about yourself, right. and you might some things are recognized. You might are highlighted about you. Even though the person was bad, some things are highlighted about you and your behavior. Once you've learned your lesson and once you you feel like, hey, once you're in, in that in that realization, get the hell out of there. Mm. Get out of there. There was a post, and I'm trying to find it, and I wish I could find it, where there's a woman who says, um, I got to do it for me. I I love you, and I can love you with the love of God. But when I watch you, when I see how you're living your life, and how you are functioning in your life. I can't be a part of that. Mm. And how you're inconsistent in your life and you're inconsistent with me. Mm. I can no longer be a part of that. So I have to walk away. I got to walk away. And I that is the most, that's the thing that I can do for me. I don't want to hear you, so you just going to walk away? So you just going to let all this go? Were you thinking about that with every situation that you've done to me? Mm. Mm. Was that a thing? <laughs> now you're worried about so that I'm going to let all this go. Did you think about like, how all the stuff was crumbling down when you were doing whatever you were doing? When you were lying, when you were cheating, when you were gaslighting, sometimes when you were doing nothing, when you weren't communicating. And you want me to continuously choose you and you're not making any effort. You're not changing. What are we doing? Right. What are we doing? Listen, everybody deserves to be with somebody who treats them good, who can bring the better out in them, who helps them grow, who doesn't keep you stagnant and doesn't keep you on that level. Everybody deserves that. Do not think that you're in a situation and it is driving you nuts. You can't think you're at work and you can't function. You can't eat. You can't sleep. It is emotionally triggering for you. I learned in my last relationship that my relationships that are romantic can definitely run my day. Mm. I don't like that. I don't like feeling emotionally disabled. Right. I'm sitting here and I'm upset because this person hasn't called me. And that was a realization that I came to earlier this year in, in my relationship. I'm, 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 I'm so sad that this person hasn't called me and I'm going through my day and I'm just so heavy and I'm so sad. But as mm. soon as the person calls me, my whole mood changed. Not everybody gets to Rebecca's happy. And I had to pray about that. And I had to start like working and Ooh. doing things towards that. In therapy, I, I started talking about that. And yep. literally, it was about me setting boundaries so that I was not allowing this person to have that emotional stronghold on me i was Mm. giving it to them Mm. Mm -hmm. i was giving it to them and allowing them to emotionally handicap me if you didn't if he didn't call me excuse me i'm okay i I could still go on with my day right i can still Still be all right be fine Uh uh-huh that's okay everything is going to be all right and when he does call me i do not have to pick up immediately i'm working too i got things to do too listen I don't think people should match energy all the time. Sometimes you should just walk away. Mm -hmm. It's not about matching energy. Bubba, I'm in my, right, I'm in my life right now, at a stage in my life right now, that relationships shouldn't be hard where I don't need to act unavailable because you acting unavailable. I don't want to do that. (laughs) I don't want to do that. I don't want to act like... I'm sitting here and I don't want to call you. And when you call me, I got to be like, yeah, what's up? 
yeah, I'm out. When I'm really at, at the house in a robe, looking forward to talking to you. I'm never, mm -hmm. I'm at a stage and age in my life. I'm not in my twenties anymore where I used to be like, oh, he want to play. Let me put on that. that. I think that's what Cardi B was saying. She, he knows what type of woman I am now. Like I'm not the woman back in the day where I used to get up, put something sexy on, knowing that I was in pain because he did something to me and go out just knowing that I don't want to do that. I'm at an age where listen, right. I'm 33 years old. I'm a grown, grown woman. And I do <laughs> not need to be dealing and acting like I'm unavailable when I really want to be available. When I am available, I don't have to play games. Listen, I do want to speak with you. I do want to talk to you. I am available and there's no reason for me to match the energy. And if you can't give me what I need and I, if I have to act unavailable, if I have to act hard, if I have to do all of that, no, I don't want to love hard like that. I don't want to become hardened. I don't want to become a man um, in that way. When I say that, I don't want to, because how society says men are, um, mm -hmm. you know, to be all like, what I don't want to have that type of, I don't want to go back and I don't want that. I want to be soft and I want my man to be okay with being soft as well in that way. We can't be out here just... Being like, I can't love her too much, or I can't love him too much, or I can't let him see. If I want to call you, I should be able to pick up my phone and call you. You're right. It shouldn't be, oh, let me not call right now. Let me not text right now. This whole thing that we have be that, become. Is it, is it too much? Am I doing too right. much? Right. Why do you have to question that? <laughs> if you are my partner, if you are my man, it should never be that way. Right. It shouldn't be that way. So- Listen, if it's feeling like that for you, I don't care what society says. I don't care what that post on um, Justin LaVoy's page told you to do. I don't care even what the Bible app page told you to do. Let me tell you something. If it's real, if it's what... No, one good thing I did, I did pick up from the Bible app, y'all. Rip up the list. Mm. I did a devotion. I ain't gonna lie. I said, I don't care what the Bible app told you to do. That's a lie. I rip up the list. The list of uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for? The uh, the negotiables and non-negotiables. Okay. Well Remember say? how we talked about that on the show? Just to yeah, rip it up, child. Cause yeah, mm -mm, mm -mm. it don't it don't work. How my mic not being on? And nobody told me that. I didn't. No, my mic wasn't on. Your mic was on. Your mic been on the whole time. You've been going, girl. Don't worry. It's been did, on. did it sound good? The oh. mic is on. Okay, no, look, is the mic on? <laughs> the mic is on. Is the mic on? I gave y'all three performances. The mic is on. <laughs> I gave y'all some acting, three performances. A good welcome. The mic better have been on. Yeah, it's on. The mic been on. Okay. But y'all, yes, one thing I noticed about this dating BS is that it's 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 a lot of BS. Mm -hmm. And at first I used to think, okay. I'm gonna gotta find my person outside of Atlanta and be talking to somebody that's Not outside of Atlanta. The price of my cup under here, my bad. Huh? You say who? <laughs> the price of my cup under here, my bad. Look, oh child, Not nobody ain't said nothing about I, it. Now we see it. Now how much was the two dollars? It was three ninety nine. No, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, my bad. But uh, when I tell you, it's just like I've I've learned now to look at these goddamn, these red flags, it's, it's the red flags is really a thing. Mm -hmm. And the more that I, I start talking to people and start realizing them like, yeah, that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. Okay. Boom. That's definitely a red flag. Okay. Boom. Oh, oh hell no. Some things I just can't, I'm not going to deal with. Mm -hmm. I'm 45 years old and you grown as well too. I'm not going to deal with this. So at this point, it was good talking to you, but I think we're better as just maybe being friends. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And even and that. It like it is. And even that, you guys, I don't want you to be pressured to have to be friends with the person. Okay? Ex ex exactly. I, I want you guys no. to know that. I do not want you to feel like you have to be friends with the person. It's great if you can. But let me, people, listen, people who have hurt you and broken you and all that, sometimes just detaching yourself, it doesn't mean that you don't love them anymore. Okay? Yeah. It's okay to love the person. But... You do not have to, baby, moving on can include you not looking back. The other day, I went through diaries. I went through my phone, y'all. I was like, because I'm clearing out things now. My new year is starting now. I am not going to wait until January 1st this year since I'm here working. I'm not going to wait until January 1st this year to clean out everything and do all this stuff. So I'm, I was going through some diaries because I'm I'm a diary girl. I'm a journal. I'm, I journal and stuff. So I was going through them, and I was just looking at a pattern. Where I, when I feel like somebody is taking my voice away when they're not, when they've hurt me and they're no, no longer replying or they're doing whatever, I looked at how I will go and I will write this whole book. And 
there's this funny meme that goes on where the a guy is reading and he looks at the he sees that it's a long text message and he just throws it away. And I hate that, right? Because that's what people do. Women do the same thing. But I said, I gotta stop. When somebody doesn't want to hear what I have to say, I shouldn't, ha I'm not going to force myself for you to hear it. I'm not going to do any of that type of stuff. I'm not going to throw that at you. I'm not, I have to stop doing that, you know, mm -hmm. and go somewhere where somebody wants to listen. Somebody out there wants to hear you, babe. And then I said, I have to stop when I moved on, not blocking these people that were in my past because then on Christmas day, on birthdays, on those type of days, you're getting a message that says, Merry Christmas. I was thinking about you. And when I saw the mistletoe, I just remembered what we used to do. Sir, if you don't get your one pants, have them behind, out of my messages because I'm laid up with my new man <laughs> who listens and understands. And understands. And, and, Hello. And, 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 and he loves me for me. And he likes when I roll over with my bonnet on <laughs> with a hint of morning breath. That's all right. He kisses me on the forehead because it might be a little strong, but he loves that about me. And, you know, you want somebody to accept you for who you are. You don't want somebody, you don't want to feel, you could be the most beautifulest woman in the world. Cardi B also said in that video, I didn't, he knows that I'm not feeling my best right now. He knows that I'm not confident right now. He knows I haven't been feeling beautiful. I've just been, listen, we're talking about Cardi B. We all get in that. A beady head, Caribbean, <laughs> African, because that's for me, that's, my, that's what they usually be. That literally is not fitting any of the criteria. Like, um, like the song I sang earlier. Listen, selfishly, not even, he ain't even fine. You ain't even all that fine. <laughs> you ain't even all that, you ain't even right about right things. Yeah. You ain't nothing. But here I am, and I'm allowing you to make me feel less than. I don't feel beautiful. I was looking in 2020, you guys, I didn't even feel beautiful. I didn't feel beautiful at that time. Um, and you guys would be posting in the comment section, Rebecca looks so beautiful today. Rebecca, And I felt at my lowest. You're right. I didn't want to look in the mirror. I would pass by the mirror and I want to look at myself. I would, because of what somebody else was making me feel like, because I felt like he, I wasn't beautiful for him, I now am not beautiful. And I'm, y'all, if I showed you that person, y'all would be like, Rebecca, no middle name, Alzo. <laughs> Rebecca, Alzo. Are you serious? Like girl over that, honey. And when you—that's what I'm saying. When you when you get over somebody and you look back at the situation, you'd be like, you know what? He was ugly, but my uh -huh. love, my love made him beautiful. <laughs> Meanwhile, he was making me feel—he was making me feel ugly and unappreciated uh -huh. and just, yeah. So, because child, I, I swear, I talked to you about this one before, but. Gonna send me that happy birthday text. No, just a few uh, days ago, mm -hmm. you was telling me you was talking real crazy and reckless. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah, you mad and upset talking about I didn't call you up. I'm like, I've called you up before I text you. Mm -hmm. I FaceTimed you. You ain't answer. Mm -hmm. So I moved the hell on like I should have been did. And I left it, left, left it be. So you get your happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And move on. Because at this point, you made your decision. Again, this gaslight shit gonna stop in 2024 because Bubba is not gonna be with it. Yeah. Yeah. Period. And Bubba, <laughs> you better not be with it. Cause and 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 you don't have to wait until 2024, baby, right now. Right now. Child, hey, hey right I now. Know, for our listening audience, for our watching audience, for everybody, I know this is our last show of the year, but Bubba, you presented something. And before we get to this next story, because I do want to talk about that too, but let me tell you something. I know some of y'all are waiting until January 1st, 2024, but baby, your hey. new year, by you okay. wanting to start the process of changing your thinking, by you wanting to start the process or you acknowledging some of the things that you don't want to do anymore, you're already starting now. You do not have to wait until 2024. January 1st to go to church, to start working out, to block mm -hmm. that number, to do all that. Stop giving yourself this time frame. You can do it right now. I sound like them people. You sit on the couch. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> like you, have to do, you can do it right now. I'm dead no, serious. get up right now. You can do it right now. Your pivot, because that's my word for this year and next year, your pivot 
can start right now, baby. Pivot. Start the process. Start the process. Put that application in. Get that AI to line that application for you and send it. <laughs> and send it. <laughs> oh, yo, Do when I you tell you, Q does, Q does the perfect goddamn impersonation of that commercial. This is one day sitting in the living room. He comes out the kitchen. No, you're sitting there on the couch. You're watching TV. <laughs> you're wasting your life. Yeah, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> listen, listen, I love the commercial. But, like, Hello, mother. Good morning. God damn. Hey, Mama Gwen. I haven't heard from you in a long time. Shout out to Mama Gwen. All right. Shout out to Mama Gwen. <laughs> okay, now, Bubba, you're presenting us with a new story. Now, I know a few of these developments about Jonathan Majors. Speaking Ta. about relationships in celebrity world, Jonathan Majors, who's fighting his past relationship, and he got a woman uh, who we know as Megan Good, who gonna stick right beside him. What do you got for us, Bubba? So the re the most recent development I saw, they released the footage of that night. Everything came into question. So that footage that I saw, I don't know about y'all, but I think it changes a lot of stuff. And before you get uh, there, before you play that footage, who's this? I don't know, but that was, that was, before we play the footage, pause, David. <laughs> There is audio, too, of Jonathan Majors, and I just want to put this in perspective as we see this. There's audio of Jonathan Majors telling this this white woman, Bubba, your camera. Yes. Jonathan Majors telling this white woman, his ex, um, she should act more like Coretta Scott King. Now, mind you, in, and I ain't gonna lie. In and, and Michelle Obama. In the audio clip, I didn't like how he was coming at her because I don't like when men are, like, talk speak in that manner but right. essentially i feel like he was trying to tell her like girl i got a brand and when you hanging around me you got to be of a certain type of you know you can't be walking and treating me and we can't be and i and, and but he was trying to make excuses for his behavior too i didn't like that but y'all he told that white woman she should be like michelle obama and coretta scott can't oh oh just get you a black woman baby jonathan just get you a black woman anywho <laughs> this footage shows um of, of, of the night in question that he's in court for of assaulting this white woman. This footage is, um, you know, for the night in question showing what happened, I guess, allegedly, but it, all the angles in New York City, I feel like, are on this video. Um, <laughs> Every angle, child. <laughs> but let's take a look. <laughs> Dun, 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 okay, and you have that audio too. Okay, we'll play that audio next. But here you can see them run. Where here they they're fighting. I guess he's trying to put her in the vehicle, and then he comes out, and you'll see they begin. It's a foot, a whole foot chase, y'all. It's a foot chase. They're walking. They're walking, and look, uh, look. Uh, He's running away from her, it looks like. Yes. And here's a close He's trying up. to put her back in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I'm wondering from that angle, was she punching him in the car? I don't know. Like, I don't know if she it looks like she hit him and and, and or he hit her. I don't know to start with, or he restrained her, she restrained him. And then it got crazy. And I'm gonna tell you what I think about because I've seen I've seen this actually on in New York streets when I lived there. I see the same behavior. Oh my god. <laughs> if I could find you this other clip, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> this is I'm just running after. They're running in the street. Cars are like, what the hell is going on? Uh, and, and in New York, nobody's just like, oh, that's Jonathan Majors running. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Um, but they're still running. This is other camera footage, you guys. Child still running. I'm just like, girl, she is. She was going to kiss her man, honey. Oh, she's going to go get her man. She's, <laughs> now she's walking. It's like, but some time. No, because now they're closer to the house. Oh no, I'm making that up. But you know, listen. Oh, Rebecca, you <laughs> I'm making that up. That's allegedly. Oh no, they were closer to the house. Look, they close. They got closer to the house. So... He hit me, and I... he's just this black man hit me. I... 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 
let me show you what he um do you know him is this his instagram his name is jonathan majors do you yeah that's him there he is there he is he touched me he heard me he heard me why did you put your hands on her he's uh, there he look how he walking by them people Bruh. he walked by like okay she wants she got her white counterparts with her that's yep. cool and why did they look like a black man why did the why the why was it giving that not her going back jonathan so see i didn't see the rest of that part i only saw because it's all these damn clips where he was running away it's this whole time crazy. It's my getting, gosh it's getting crazy but i, <laughs> I honestly the audio though um you can play the audio with the 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 him asking her my camera him asking her to be more like that, <laughs> that now mind you i don't like his tone in the audio um mm -hmm. at all because it kind of triggered me but listen listen to this listen to this go ahead drop that audio david right now period this is actually period do you understand that yeah do you really know this do you really? Yes. Then how dare you come home drunk and disturb the peace of our house when we have a plan? I'm I would so like sorry. to get to, I would like to get to the point where your friends know what job I'm on and go, I think Grace is gonna be out of commission. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I won't so, like I'm I, No no, do you understand that? Because because that team, that unit, right, Grace has to be in a certain mindset. To support Coretta Scott King. Do you know who that is? The That's Martin Luther King's wife. Michelle Obama. Barack Obama's wife. I know, I'm not, I, I, I shouldn't have gone out. I'm no, no, sorry. Let me, just, let me just lay it out for you. Right? <laughs> if I am, I'm just going to say this. My temper, my shit, my trauma, blah, blah, all that, all that said, right? And I'm going to say, I'm a great man. A great man. <laughs> That's the part and I didn't like. I am doing God. great things, not just for me, but for my for my culture and for the world. That is actually the position I'm in. That's real. I'm not being a dick about it. I didn't ask for it. I've worked and that's the situation. The woman that supports me, that I support, that work that needs to be a great woman and make sacrifices the way that man is making for her and for them ultimately. Last night, two nights ago, you did not do that. I'm you sorry. did not do that. I'm sorry. Which, which took away from the plan. And the plan is everything. <clears throat> if it was just you in the house drunk, maybe I could have swallowed it. Or, or, or I would have felt bold enough like, oh, babe, let's just go to bed. Which I said, I said I'm just going to go to bed. I'm not, I'm not hungry, blah, 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 blah. Because Grace isn't here. Why? She was drunk. Why else? She was clogged by whatever was going on. You know what I mean? Fine. I can take that. I, I fine. I agree with that that comment, Dimitri. Um, but I'll say this. Now, Jonathan Majors is so fun. <laughs> um and <laughs> civil rights. That's why he said Coretta Scott King, because he know he look, you know, he got that civil rights in him. But I would say the way he was speaking to her, I now I didn't like that she the way he was speaking to her. I know sometimes I can get beside myself and sometimes my man got to sit me down, right? And I mm -hmm. like a little bit of that. Like, hey, you know what we on. We can't be outside like, it. we can't be outside like that. I'm your man. And if I'm rep we represent us, you right. can't be out. We I get it. I get that part of it. But the way he was speaking to her, like in and that manner, I didn't, I didn't, I, and she's not black, especially. I'm not saying that black women need to be spoken to in that way. I'm saying, mentioning that she needs to be like Coretta Scott King. And then he asked her, do you know who that is? No, she probably don't for real. She probably said yes, just to be like, babe, don't leave me for Coretta Scott King. Like Coretta <laughs> Scott King and Michelle Obama. Like he's, he named prominent black, strong, prominent black women who um have gone through things especially in their relationships michelle obama talked about going through things in her relationship and so yeah Coretta scott king because of their men and who their men were like um michelle obama's husband is was is barack obama coretta scott king's husband um was martin luther king so what they had to endure is unbelievable but you can't ask a white woman to present herself in that manner i'm sorry you you just you just can't she'll never understand it she'll never know Go get you a black woman. That's but what also I was in that same saying. sense, do not expect that black woman to have to endure your BS either. 
Okay? I do understand the conversation that he was trying to get at, though. There's another way that we can go there. I do understand that, you know, hey, babe, we're a unit. We're going to argue. And sometimes it might get crazy, but we can't be out here. We can't be out here pre- pre- pretending ourselves like that. You know who you with. Yeah. Yes, we can't. Don't. There's a way that we can have that conversation. And also, I am sick. If she felt scared, maybe that's why she was recording and stuff. But recording, listen, y'all, we got to be honest. And I'm going to be 100. In your relationships, there's going to probably be some there's going to be some arguments that get very heated. That get heated. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm not about to pull my phone out to record it. But like the only reason why she must have recorded was because she needed proof or she knew that, you know, this was going to, like she needed something, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she just she just wanted, just in case some shit ever came up, yeah, she, she had, had she had proof of getting money. Yeah. That's just like watching. I don't know if you watch rap shit on. Uh, I do. I, I okay. do. I haven't caught up to the mm-hmm. latest episode, but I do watch rap shit. Just like what brother buddy was doing, recording uh, Shauna. It's just it's the same situation. I'm just mm-hmm. like, so you trying to have something on him? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's not like he threatened you to say like he was gonna beat you up or kill you or anything. Yeah. And I agree that the way that he was talking to her was a little, it was condescending, but I, and I think it could have been handled a, a different kind of way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. To, to get the point across because like, Hey, you know, look, look, you know, I'm a celebrity. I got all these people on me and everything else. Y'all see how Beyonce do her business. Beyonce don't have nothing out there. The whole elevator situation. Remember she said, of course, sometimes <laughs> things go down when it's a billion dollars on the elevator. That's uh-huh. all we got from that. That's all we got. You, and what all- you saw in the video. Beyonce in the corner, ain't that then moved and left one finger. She in the video when she was her sister was doing that, she tried to hold her sister back, but her mm-hmm. sister was like, Get off of me, Beyonce, because I'm about to walk yep. this behind. And she said, Okay, well, sis, we don't know what happened. We can put our context suits together, we can do all of that. But let me tell you something in these relationships, and and, and again, I'm gonna be 100 with y'all. In real relationships, I know y'all think. Michelle and Barack, when she was presenting out uh, in her book, they went through it, baby. Mm-hmm. They went through it. And you will probably never know the extent of what they went through. Cheating might have yep. been involved. All these things. A little physical altercation. Who knows? I'm not saying that that's okay. But real relationships, y'all go through things. Mm-hmm. Y'all go through things. I will never forget, and this is the first, this is the first and last time I ever did that. But I pulled up to my man house. Ooh, really? First and last time ever in this good lifetime of mine. You go through some things, man. You you don't know, you don't know. I would never go out there because of. I would never go out there and with some of the guys and the choices that I've made and put in places that I would never go out there unless I felt really, really threatened though. Like maybe she did. That's what I'm saying to record or to do anything like, yeah, no, unless people were saying I was lying. I need to show my family. I don't know, but it just gets weird. We gotta, if we are trying to stick right beside our men or whatever the case may be, we can't even trust being in a relationship child and having an argument or whatever the case may be. But like I said, mm-hmm. I don't think that she would have done that unless she really felt like she had to feel really threatened in the situation and she needed to record it. Um, she was in her responses to him were almost like, yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. I understand daddy. Yes. Like it was, she was, like, it was weird. No. But at the same time, I, I didn't understand what he was saying. And I hate that I did. It, it, yeah. Maybe, maybe I got to go back to therapy a little bit. No, I mean, it's the truth, though. I mean, granted, it's just a lot. If she was out there acting a fool, it's, it's somebody I was with, and I have a brand to protect, and you out here showing your whole ass. I'm either going to one let you show. I'm going to let you show your whole ass, but I'm going to separate myself from you. Mm-hmm. Or you're going to continue doing. I'm trying to calm you down. If you don't calm down, then once you get back behind closed doors, we need to have a conversation. And the conversation is going to be like, you're not good for my brand or what I'm doing. And at this point, we can't be together. Because mm-hmm. trust me, like Rebecca said, y'all, you each relationship and every relationship is different. Y'all gonna go through some shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, 
13 years together for mine and married for three in my previous relationship and child, the three years of marriage was probably the worst that we went through. Wow. So it, 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 it can, and, and it will happen. Shout out to those that, who, who it doesn't happen to. And then, then that's great. But most times it's going to happen. You're going to go through some stuff with your relationship that you don't want to go through, but you're going to have to deal with. Not my elf at the top suited and booted. No, the elf came to join the conversation like she had the show. Like, girl, <laughs> look, is, is she in the audience? Like, can she with the last? <laughs> I didn't even notice that damn elf up there. Elf on the shelf. That's some scary shit, man. Elf on the shelf. I got an elf on the TV. I wish I could show you the elf with her legs crossed on my TV. Um, True dragon say that elf is being. <laughs> Listen, no, but it's, it, it's, it's, it don't come for my elf. So short story and we're going to get out of here. We're going to get out of here, but short, short story. <laughs> they're all female elves. They're all black. Um, the one on the television represents me. She's sitting with her legs crossed. Um, and the one here is my best friend, Lucretia. And okay. the one at the front that um, she's on elf security duty is Dina. During COVID, I felt, those are my two best friends. During COVID, I felt so alone, so alone. And I got these elves and I saw that they were black. Mm -hmm. the, the two, my, my best friends are light-skinned. So these two are light-skinned and the one on the TV is dark like me. So, um, or brown skin like me. And so I got them, I felt so alone. And, and I know this sounds crazy, but I was so alone in 2020, y'all. I bought these elves to represent my best friends. So I had some kind of representation. Because I couldn't go home for the holidays and stuff. So I just, I got these elves to represent my best friends. And so every year I just put them in different places uh, in the house. And to TV up on the shelf. And then the other one is on um, elf security duty in the front by the security. So, yeah. Listen, I hope we talked your Listen, ears man. off. Listen, we do you have a Christmas tree, Bubba? No. <laughs> I get a chance to put it up, man. This damn month moved so quick and didn't have anywhere to put it. But then I'm just like, we're gonna put it up right here in the corner. But I'm then just like, okay, it's not enough room. So yeah, just decided not to put one up this year. Oh, yeah. That sucks. We're not ruining Christmas, David. <laughs> Why does David want to ruin Christmas? He's the Grinch. <laughs> Grinch. Don't be coming over here with... with these double D's came from Santa. I'm going Hannah Montana. You know this Georgia peach got a little pinch of Atlanta. Not Georgia peach. You see this booty bouncing like a basketball. But I'm conservative living. I just can't give it to y'all. Shout out to hardworking men. Ooh, I love me. I hope with a white BBL. I'm a Trump Latina, so I had to leave Cali. But the beat, but jumping on. We love our soldiers. Yeah, we love our veterans. Pledge allegiance. Get this off of my screen right now. Get this off of my screen immediately. Immediately. We do not support whiteness in conservative form on this well, what channel. What in the Karen shit is that? <laughs> Get that not, whiteness in, in the conservative uh, culturally appropriated uh, beats. Don't you ever bring that here. Again, uh, no. But her titties look nice. But don't you ever put that on the channel. <laughs> Not her titties look nice. You're nice. You're nice. Maybe want to go put my, you know, my mind are naturally, you know what I'm saying? But no. No. Ah, listen. This is white woman. I don't like it. And then and then they're taking, see, that's that's the thing. White folks will get on here uh -huh. and um take black appropriate blackness uh -huh. to try to promote more whiteness. Uh -huh. Make it make sense, baby. Hmm. Do that for me. Because <laughs> it ain't making me no money. So I'm trying to make it make sense. Please do. Anyways, we're at the end of the show. I'm about to, I know you guys don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. No, hey. no, 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 no. But I got to go, go right now. Right now. <laughs> we'll be back before you know it. Listen. We're here. Thank you to everybody who has supported us thus far. We're going into 2024, but you can start your new year right now, today. Do not wait for the first. If there's anything that you want to do, think of, start writing down what you want to do right now. Listen, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Remember what I said. And you do not have to stick beside nobody who is doing you wrong. Leave him. Let him go and free yourself.
I love you guys so much. I mean, don't talk to me. We didn't even get a chance to talk about the color purple. Oh my god. Yes. We'll be back in the new year to do that because I had so much to say about that. Hey, head over to my TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Becca's voice 90. All I did was say, where's Whoopi? That's all I said. And everybody was like, because oh, it was Whoopi don't need to be on it. Because Oprah. It's Oprah stuff. And, and it was before um, the cast went on The View. And people were like, I'm like, y'all, no, Whoopi should be a part of promo in some kind of way because she is the reason why we watch, we love the color purple. But then, if that's the case, then you got to put all of them back no, in. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Seely. Me and you must never part. Seely is literally the main part of the color purple. Her story is the color purple. Her hardness, what she went through, why people think that dark-skinned girls are ugly, why people associate Whoopi Goldberg with being unattractive, the color purple. What I was saying was not that she had to be on the, the purple carpets or whatever, but Oprah been sitting down with these people left and right. And Oprah had a minor part in that show, um, the movie, compared to Whoopi's portion, to be honest. And I know that Oprah is overproduction. Let's be clear, I do. But having Fantasia and um, Whoopi Goldberg sit down together would have been a full circle moment. You understand? Because without... Uh, um, 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 Whoopi Goldberg, there would have no, there, none of this. That movie wouldn't have did, wouldn't have did what it did. Let's be honest and let's be real. And what, I mean, I, listen, I wasn't eh. saying that she should have been on the purple carpet or whatever, <laughs> but mentioning of her wasn't happening. That's why I like when she went, when, you know, when they went on The View, they knew they gave her a standing ovation and they said without the cast themselves, without you, it wouldn't have been this. And that's yeah. what I wanted to see. And it was so beautiful. True. It was so beautiful. And that's all I got to say. Shout out to Whoopi Goldberg, who showed us when I watched it back, I said, damn, Whoopi Goldberg was so beautiful. Like she is so beautiful. And everybody was like, somebody wrote in the comments on, on my TikTok, she, you know, you lying. She ugly. <laughs> and that's why societally we viewed anybody who looked like Whoopi had the same color as Whoopi as somebody being ugly. And that was problematic. Anyways, I'm at the end of the show. I ain't even going to be here like that. I love you guys <laughs> so much. I mean it. <laughs> Make sure you go watch the color purple Christmas day and happy new year. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Kwanzaa and all that good stuff. I love y'all. Mean it. <laughs> all right y'all we love y'all meaning again happy holidays to all of you and thank you for everything that y'all have done for us all year long yes i will be back with a beard bonnet chronicles before the end of the year probably next week sometime so y'all stay tuned for that man and let's see your affirmation for the day your affirmation for the day is I am on a beautiful journey to become the best version of myself. I am on a beautiful journey to become the best version of myself, man. If I don't see you before the new year, happy new year and all that other good stuff. Hey, if you want to make sure if you're not already, patreon.com forward slash like it or not. Patreon.com forward slash like it or not, y'all. Bubba is out. You see? Yeah, better move out the way cause I'm coming with harder hits My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all of this